Hey everyone, it's Michelle. In today's video, I will be reviewing Malaysia Skincare. This is the brainchild of FC from Simple Skincare Science. If you don't know what Simple Skincare Science, it is pretty much one of the best places on the internet to learn about the science behind skincare. Back in 2018, I decided to take acne control more seriously in my skincare routine. Simple Skincare Science was one of the websites I stumbled upon. I learned so much about the science behind skin, skincare ingredients, and just how to apply this knowledge to my own skin needs. Basically, my skin would not be where it is today without the help of FC from Simple Skincare Science. His blog focuses around Malassezia folliculitis, also known as fungal acne here on the internet. Basically, this malassezia is a naturally occurring yeast on our skin, and it seems that when this yeast is overfed, it causes a variety of skin concerns, such as acne. Now, while I personally don't recognize my skin condition to be fungal acne, I can definitely understand how feeding this yeast can be contributing to my own skin concerns. This is where Malaysia comes in. It is a skincare brand that has been formulated to make sure that this yeast is not overfed, keeping your skin nice and happy while also helping to tackle your skin concerns focusing more around acne. When I found out that he was starting his own skincare line, I absolutely had to support it and try it out as well. So I signed up for the pre-order. I ordered both products, the moisturizer and acne treatment gel. I have been rotating both of them in my skincare routine for the past two months. I also gave the Malaysia regimen a shot. So it's just using these two products as well as a cleanser. I gave that a shot as well just to see how they perform on their own and I am ready to share my thoughts. Having said that, let's get right into the review. So Malaysia is a microbiology based skincare company started by FC from Simple Skincare Science. The goal in FC's words is to destroy skin diseases by using simple but effective products in a minimal skincare routine. If you look at the Malaysia regimen guide, it is only a three step skincare routine showing you how to use both the Malaysia products. Malaysia launched two products, one being their urea moisturizer, the second being their benzoyl peroxide acne treatment gel. As you can see, they are both in opaque aluminum tube packaging. The amount is 50 mils. The urea moisturizer retails for 22 US dollars. It is in the pink bottle and the benzoyl peroxide acne treatment gel retails for 11 US dollars and 50 cents in the black tube. Getting into ingredients, let's start off with the moisturizer. So as the name suggests, the star ingredient is urea at a concentration of 5%. Urea is a molecule that is part of our skin's natural moisturizing factors. It is a humectant, meaning it holds onto water in our skin. It also helps to thicken our skin barrier, so to help prevent that excess transepidermal water loss and at certain concentrations it helps our skin's natural desquamation process so that means our skin's natural skin shedding process alongside urea there are other moisturizing molecules in the formula we got glycerin and hyaluronic acid very classic humectants to include there's also caprylic slash capric triglyceride as an emollient and dimethicone appearing as an occlusive allantoin is also included in the formula as a nice classic soothing ingredient. So overall, this sounds like a really nice, simple, lightweight, soothing moisturizer. As for the acne treatment gel, the star ingredient is 2.5% micronized benzoyl peroxide. Now, in my personal opinion, after on and off using benzoyl peroxide for just about 15 years or more, it is probably the most effective over-the-counter ingredient you can get when dealing with acne, especially very stubborn cystic inflamed acne. In my experience using benzoyl peroxide as a wash, a leave-on treatment, a topical prescription, it has been effective across the board at different concentrations, but one thing remains constant, it is quite an irritating ingredient. If you're familiar with using benzoyl peroxide, you know that your skin becomes red, there's flakiness, and sometimes your skin looks very dry. What I like about the Malaysia Acne Treatment Gel in particular is that it uses a low concentration of benzoyl peroxide. Again, in my experience of using various vehicles of benzoyl peroxide at different concentrations, 
Higher does not necessarily mean better. So I appreciate that Malaysia is using a low concentration just to reduce that irritation, but still provide effectiveness. In addition, this is micronized benzyl peroxide. So that's supposed to help further with reducing irritation. For additional ingredients, this also contains glycerin. It's just a really nice standard humectant to have in any skincare product at this point. This also has 0.5% sodium phytate now this is not an ingredient that i'm super familiar with it but according to the product page on malaysia's website this ingredient is supposed to help boost skin's moisture and elasticity reduce oil production and also tackle pigmentation so just from that description alone it sounds like it's a really nice to have ingredient in an acne treatment gel moving on to texture both of these are a gel consistency I'm going to show you what they look like on the back of my hand, but you will notice that the moisturizer has just a bit more body than the acne treatment gel. I hope the camera is focusing on my hand, but this is the moisturizer, this is the acne treatment gel. As you can see, they both look pretty lightweight. As I blend the moisturizer into my hand, I definitely feel a layer of moisture coming from it. It feels more abundant. It definitely has an instant filmy effect. Whereas the benzyl peroxide gel, it is way lighter in consistency. Both of them overall feel very cosmetically elegant and lightweight, very easy formulas to include in an existing skincare routine. Moving on to my usage and experience with these products, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I rotated them in my existing skincare routine as well as tried the Malaysia Regimen Guide. I'll start off with how I incorporated it in my existing skincare routine. So for the Urea Moisturizer, I essentially swapped out my existing hydrator in place of the moisturizer. So any hydrating toner, essence, or lotion I used, I instead used the Urea Moisturizer. For both morning and nighttime skincare routine, after I water rinsed or double cleansed my face, I would apply about half a finger's worth of the moisturizer on damp skin all over my face and neck, and then I would follow up with the rest of my skincare routine. In the morning, I did go in with an additional moisturizer. I just finished up the Bioderma Atoderm Intensive Balm that I used. And at nighttime, instead of going in with a moisturizer, I would either use Aquaphor or Vaseline on top, just a very thin layer of it, especially because now it's warmer. In the two months, I've been rotating this Urea moisturizer in my skincare routines. The main thing I noticed is that it always left my skin feeling very comfortable. It never felt like it needed more moisture afterwards. My face never felt like it was getting dehydrated. There were some days that I actually skipped using a vitamin C serum and my skin still looked really nice and even still pretty bright. I didn't find using two different types of moisturizers was congesting my skin further. Usually the main areas that I experience congestion are on my nose area where the sebaceous filaments are as well as my chin and to my surprise they still looked very smooth and my skin just looked nice and plump it felt very comfortable and it was just unbothered for the acne treatment gel i had to be a little bit more strategic when i use this because i do use topical prescriptions in my skincare routine retin-a micro so 0.1 percent tretinoin as well as axone which is five percent dapsone both of these ingredients I cannot use alongside benzyl peroxide. So when I was testing this benzyl peroxide treatment out, I had to make sure that those topicals were not interfering. When I first used this acne treatment gel, I definitely underestimated the potential irritation this could have. I did apply a thin layer of this all over my face and the next morning I woke up looking puffy, red, and feeling itchy. So after that experience, I decided to use this solely as a spot treatment. If you recall one of my previous videos, No Makeup Makeup on a Bad Skin Day, my chin had quite a bit of breakouts on it and I actually used this acne treatment gel to help reduce the inflammation and size of the breakouts. The reason I didn't take before and after photos is because I was using tretinoin still every other night in conjunction with the benzyl peroxide. So it wasn't really fair to say that the acne treatment was doing all the work, but in terms of reducing irritation from immediate breakouts, this definitely performs. My husband also tried this out. He had a cystic breakout on his temple. The thing is he did not use it frequently enough for me to get a good timeline of how 
fast this acne treatment gel worked but it did definitely subdue the inflammation around the breakout and the size so now it is very flat and it's not as dark as it would be if he did not treat it. If you want more convincing before and afters of the acne treatment gel as well as the moisturizer, I highly suggest you going on the product page on the Malaysia website. There are a lot of people posting before and after photos. It's really amazing how much their skin has cleared. I'm really happy for them that they finally reached skin clarity and health through simply using these two products. Also on Malaysia's Instagram page, they share before and afters as well. So definitely check those out if you need some more convincing photos. That is it for how they performed in my existing skincare routines. Now we're going to move on to how I use them with the Malaysia Regimen Guide. Basically, the Regimen Guide is a three-step skincare routine, which includes the use of these two products. And the goal of that skincare routine is just to pretty much keep it simple while still targeting your acne concerns. The demo pretty much shows how I used these two products on its own with the regimen in mind. And when I did do this skincare routine the first time, I did not go in with SPF after. What I used for sun protection instead was a hat. So I did go outside and ride my bike with my husband, wore my hat the whole time, stayed in the shade, and that it was my sun protection for the day because I just wanted to follow the regimen and see what just doing this three-step routine would do for my skin. Starting off with a damp face, I am going to be using a cleanser this morning to wash my face because I did use Aquaphor last night, so I just want to remove any residue. So I'll be using the Vanny Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser. This is one of the recommended cleansers on that very long list of product recommendations for Malassezia safe products. And I believe this is FC's preferred cleanser as well. So that's what a pump looks like. You probably don't need that much in the morning, but you know, morning. And as the guide recommends, I am going to massage my face for up to 20 seconds total because you don't want to wash your face so extensively all the time. I know I double cleanse, but I always keep the timing very short. I try not to go overboard with cleansing because that itself can irritate your face. Probably all the talking was more than 20 seconds. This cleanser stings my eyes, by the way, so I avoid my eye area. Right, I lathered my hands a little bit more just so you could see how foamy it actually gets. All right, and now I'm gonna go rinse my face. Face is rinsed, now I am going to use a paper towel and lightly pat my face. I guess this is to avoid any potential irritating detergents on a freshly clean face towel. So this is probably the gentlest method just to avoid any irritation. With my skin still slightly damp, it's not 100% dry, I am going to be applying about half a finger's worth of the moisturizer. The recommendation says a pea size to half a finger's worth and I am of the drier skin type, so I will be doing that. More moisture the better. So that is what the moisturizer looks like. And I'm just gonna stick to my face today. <laughs> the texture of this moisturizer is really nice. It's not sticky at all. It's a gel-like texture, but it has a little bit more weight to it. It's not super light where it feels like it's just going to disappear on your skin. Moisturizer is applied. Now I'm going to wait until my skin is completely dry to apply the acne treatment gel. And the reason you don't want to apply any treatment on moist skin is because when your skin has some water on it still or it feels very moist, it allows further penetration of whatever products you apply. So with a benzoyl peroxide gel, as you can imagine, it may further irritate your skin. So as a precaution, you do want to wait until your skin is dry to the touch, but still comfortably moisturized. The moisturizer has finally settled, so now I am going to be applying the benzoyl peroxide acne treatment gel. This is 2.5% micronized benzoyl peroxide. So on the guide, it recommends to apply about a fingertips worth for the entire face. My skin is still pretty reactive to benzoyl peroxide in general, so I'm just going to be applying this where I need it. Typically, I do not like doing spot treatments, but in order to build tolerance to benzoyl peroxide, this is what I need to do. And so far, it's been working. 
So this is what the texture of the benzyl peroxide looks like. Also a gel consistency lighter than the moisturizer. So now I'm going to apply this pea-sized amount to my problem areas, which is my chin, definitely the chin, and just along the jaw here. I think on the guide it says use a pea-sized amount for the chin area, but it's a little bit too much for me, so I'm just doing as thin of an amount as possible. I also like putting this on my nose. I also have some breakouts on my forehead here. I did have a breakout area over here, and I actually applied the benzyl peroxide gel a couple of days ago, and it definitely helped to reduce those breakouts right here. So I find applying the benzyl peroxide like this works best for my skin. I still experience a slight bit of irritation, but it's definitely a lot more tolerable where I don't need to wash my face. I also don't experience any bad redness from using this, and I've never once seen my skin getting really dry since starting to use this treatment. I'm gonna do my upper lip here too, cause I have some stuff going on here. Alrighty, that is it for this regimen demo. To my surprise, after doing the regimen, my skin was pretty comfortable. The air is just not as dry as it is in the summertime. Also, I did physically exert myself by going on a long bike ride. While my skin didn't feel super moist to the touch like I typically prefer in my current skincare routine, my skin was very comfortable. It did not feel dehydrated. It didn't feel very parched. Again, even unbothered. Around the halfway point throughout the day, my skin started feeling a little bit dry and that's when I needed to go in with more moisturizer. But overall, I was pretty taken aback with this skincare routine and that it worked pretty well. Basically, it only took cleansing my skin, applying moisturizer and an acne treatment to specific areas to keep my skin looking really healthy and comfortable. It's again hot outside. I experienced no additional congestion on my skin. So it really put things into perspective for me and made me question my existing skincare routine, thinking that I may not need what I currently have in my routine. For my final thoughts on Malaysia skincare products, if you have not guessed already, I do think they're very good. Even though they aren't 100% suited for my skin type used alone, I like that they were very easy to incorporate in my existing skincare routine, and I noticed benefits from both products. For the moisturizer, I really do wish that I could use it comfortably on its own, but alas, my skin just gets a little bit too dry for it, so I do need a different type of moisturizer. Nonetheless, I think it performed really well as a supplemental moisturizing product in my existing skincare routines. As for the acne treatment gel, while I do think benzyl peroxide is a great over-the-counter anti-acne ingredient to use, I do have Axone in my skincare routine, which is to help fight active acne on my face. So I do want to continue using that because I still find that fairly gentle. It doesn't dry out my skin. Maybe in the future in hopes that my skin balances itself out more and I don't need to rely on additional moisturizing products as well as Axone, I could keep this on hand just for a first aid emergency for my skin and I could use the urea moisturizer comfortably on its own. So having said that, these can work in my existing skincare routines. I can make them work for my normal to dry skin, but if you want to keep your skincare routine very minimal, just use these two products alongside a cleanser and an SPF. I do think if you are of an oilier skin type or if you live in a more humid climate, you would like these products a lot more. That is it for my experience and opinions on the Malaysia products. Now I want to talk about my thoughts on Malaysia as a brand. So the first point that I want to mention, and these are positives by the way, is that I really do believe that there are genuine good intentions behind the brand to help those of us that suffer from acne. If you haven't explored the Simple Skincare website already, FC, the person behind Simple Skincare Science as well as Malaysia, knows what it's like to suffer with skin diseases. If anyone is super relatable on the internet, it is him. So the fact that he managed to clear his skin with these products and he's sharing it with us with the world, I can't help but think that there are very good intentions behind it. 
Another positive point I have with Malaysia as a brand is that they make it very easy to understand what they are doing to be sustainable. If you go to their website, they actually have a section on sustainability that you can click on and they describe everything of what they do to be environmentally conscious from the ground up. Very easy to understand and it's not difficult to look for this information. For me as a consumer, what I noticed is that it got delivered to me in cardboard packaging when I opened the box, the products just came as is. There was no box to wrap the tubes in. There was no paper pamphlet inside. It's just these two aluminum tubes, which are recyclable. I also learned that the packaged peanuts that the products are cushioned on are made of organic starch and they decompose underwater. So I actually ran a few of them underwater just to check it out and it started melting very fast. So I thought that was very cool. Another pro of Malaysia as a brand is it really made me embrace the minimalism of skincare. So it's not just the amount of products that I use in my skincare routine, but I also really appreciate the simplicity in the ingredients list. For average consumers like ourselves, it just makes it easier to read, kind of understand what's going on in the formula. And if something were to aggravate our skin, it's more easy to run through the list to kind of figure out what was the culprit. Conversely, if something is working for us, the list is easy to read to see what may be causing us such beneficial changes in our skin. To add to that, like I said, if you need some compelling before and after photos, definitely check out the product page on each product. They are amazing. So many people have cleared their skin using Malaysia products and following the regimen guide. I'm just so happy that these products were able to help those of you out that were suffering from acne. And for those of you watching this review, just wanting to hear my experience and how I feel about these Malaysia skincare products, I hope it helps you out as well in making a good decision for yourself when it comes to achieving clear skin. So that is it for this review. If you haven't guessed already, I really love what the brand is about, what the heart of it is, the details that they put into the packaging, the ingredients list, and just how to make an effective, simple skincare routine for those of us struggling with acne. If I could say any con right now, it is definitely the shipping. It is a little bit pricey and the delivery time for me takes about 10 to 45 business days. But I'm gonna let that slide because we are still in a current state of the world where we may not get packages on time even in our local shops. In addition, Malaysia is a new brand. They are just starting and getting their name out there so I don't mind supporting them and paying for shipping. All right, and that is it for this video. As always, I hope you find content like this helpful and informative. If you did, please be sure to give the video a like, subscribe to my channel down below for future videos, Leave a comment if you have any questions or recommendations and I will see you all soon. Ciao.